Disc Golf. So I am here with Val Holland, who uh, works at, uh, this is Kingswood, Kingswood right? Okay, yeah. there's so many courses in Fancourt, I lose track. Um, now she works a lot with Char van der Walt, who uh, you know well from my channel. She's kind enough today to give me a little, uh, a little lesson. Now I've said this before, you've all known that I, I haven't gotten on in the past very well with conventional golf instruction. I've been trying to get better myself struggling uh, a lot recently so i thought hey let's go to uh, let's go to a pro and see what uh, see what happens so we've just finished the lesson uh val why don't you explain really quickly what my main issues were okay guy uh, main issue your left foot was way open um, and your left knee moving towards the target instead of moving towards the right knee so an excessive reverse onto the left hip um, taking away all your power no load of the right hip um, and nowhere for you to actually go through the ball other than fall back um, creating inconsistency. Okay, so you'll see from the video I was kind of amazed because I'm always skeptical but uh, last night I maybe hit three balls and Val had a quick look and she gave me the one tip about my left foot and then I came back this morning just worked on it very briefly let's say five minutes and my ball flight is already uh, remarkably different I mean there's a much more power there so we're definitely on to something and it's it's giving me faith again in uh, in, um, in in conventional golf uh, instruction so I'm happy and hopefully we got somewhere to move on uh, from here so very quickly Val will you give us a, um, your background and, and and what you've got going on here at Kingswood and Okay, um, Gaia, I moved here 10 years ago, 11 yeah. years ago to George from the Natal area. Um, I'm currently the uh, South African National Ladies Coach. I'm travelling to Mexico soon to the World um, Championship, which I'm very excited about. Um, we've got a nice young team. And um, I've lived at Kingswood. Um, I rented Kingswood and I'm going to be building in the short, um, in, in the near future. And um, I'm working with some really, really good players. One being my main player, being Charles Bolt. Okay. And very exciting <laughs> times ahead of us. So um, I know for amateurs, sometimes it's intimidating to go and seek out the best pro you can possibly uh, find. Because you think, one, it's going to be expensive. Two, you think, you know, I've got such a crappy swing. You know, are they going to judge me? But I can't recommend it highly enough. If you're in the area, if you're down near George in the Fancourt area, come check uh, Val out. Come get a lesson from her. You won't regret it. I can honestly tell you that. All right, peeps. That's enough from me. Thanks, God. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Ready. Yeah. Okay. So, hit. yeah. Keep hitting. Um, and then we're just going to touch on what we spoke about last night. Okay. It's much better. Okay, so Ga, back to the foot. Yeah. I know it's going to be uncomfortable for a while, yeah. but as I said to you, that foot being out too much and your knee working in the wrong direction was causing you to reverse yeah. and get onto the front foot instead of getting onto, instead of loading your right hip. So by doing that and closing in that toe for now is just the drill. Yeah. And then slowly we can get you back to opening, okay. but never going back to full open like you had it because okay. of the knee. Yeah. But I think, more, so if you just address the ball for me, I think more importantly, yeah. when we get you back to normal, which yeah. is slightly open, so just open it slightly, okay. the feeling that you need to do is mm -hmm. to make sure that you're getting that knee going that way. Okay. See, because that's helping you with weight transfer. Yeah. Okay. So if you put your toe open like you had it, yeah. and your knee was moving this way, you right. had a complete reverse. Okay, so I was going... You are going on the wrong side. Interesting. To simplify that, I just want to say, and I really say to simplify it, I would say to a, probably a higher handicap, but for me, the big thing is back swing mm -hmm. is back yeah. and onto the right leg. Yeah. You cannot be taking your arms and club back yeah. And your body forward because yeah. it's a complete total disconnection yeah. you're wanting everything to and i'm going to say shift yeah. to the one side but loaded so never laterally okay so is it normal for me then because when i when i, when I do that it's normally for me to feel as if i'm going away you're going to feel as if you're miles away from the ball okay. yeah. yeah but okay. but now remember in the past when you were reversing because of that foot and the knee going that way yeah. you were way ahead of it and then you some, your good shots yeah. were compensated 
by actually moving back. Yeah. So that's when you've got your great shot, but yeah. it's, it's never going to be consistent. Yeah. So getting back, you're going to feel as if you're miles away from the ball. Shift back, go through the ball, finish up on your left side. Okay. So that mustn't change. Your forward swing, your through swing must remain as was. Yeah. yeah. That's better. There we go. So you can think knee or foot. Yeah. And you're going to see, I'm not sure, what was your shape prior to starting before we I've, did I've this? I've never sliced the ball, but it's mainly been bad shots, been pulls. Okay. And uh, just Could it just, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So if the ball is now struck better, yeah. hitting it better, um, feeling better off the club face but going left, yeah. then it could be a little bit of falling back because that's what you used to have to do yeah. because you were reversed. Yeah. And if you now still do what you had to do to get your good shot, yeah. if you fall back, you may hit them a bit left. Okay. So there's two scenarios now that we must check for when you're doing this, yeah. so that your club face isn't shut, yeah. causing left, or you're shifting back instead of going forward okay. on the way through, huh? Because I noticed yesterday I hit a few, uh, the divots were going straight at the target and the yeah, ball, ball goes left. left. Okay, then it's club face. Okay, so there's one or two other checks we need to do, but for now I just want you to, that's better, good. Much better, much better. So the strike is definitely there. The left is coming from the fact that you're still a little bit on your back foot. Yeah. You're still a little bit on your back foot due yeah. to the fact that you used to be reversing anyway. Yeah. Now you don't need to. Because you're back, yeah. you can fire through and get up onto that left side. Okay. So the worst shot that you'll get now by doing the through swing yeah. and moving forward, so to say, would be that you'd hit them a bit thin. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, but they should start going straighter. You'll get rid of, you'll get rid of um, the, the left shot here. Yeah. Okay. So, so now that I've got this bit, I need to really concentrate on getting back. Yeah, you've got to get back onto that front foot. Yeah, there we go. Stunning. Okay, so that got hit. Yeah, and you can see divots on our straight, going straight at target, ball hardly moved out the air, and you finished up on your left side. So that reverse, unfortunately, causes two things. Either you stay ahead of it, and you hit it with a very weak right, or you, you, stay, you are ahead of it, reversed, yeah. but you fix up by going the other way, yeah. and that one will give you the okay shot, but left. But left. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But again, I think the biggest issue, other than the foot, and the foot really wasn't the issue, well, it is contributing, but yeah. the knee movement that you had yeah. is actually the reason you were doing what you were doing and reversing. That's it, perfect. Much better. Super. There's a strike and a... Yeah, they're going a lot further. Yeah. It does feel like I, I mean, in my head, it feels like I'm going... Yeah. Yeah. You know? But if you had to, if you had to see it from the front view, I promise you've got very little movement. I trust you. You actually head just behind the ball, yeah. which is where you want to be. Your left shoulder is just over the right um, quad, yeah. which is where you need to be. Okay. Yeah. Like double, double, video. double video, yeah, that would be great. Okay, can you repeat that, brother? Yeah. So if you, yeah, so when you move it, just get into that position, um, guy, and stop there. You're gonna feel now as if you miles away from yeah. the ball, which you actually not. Okay. You're directly behind the ball. Your shoulders behind the ball, yeah. and your left shoulder is towards the right quad. Okay. Now, prior to this, yeah. you. Yeah. were you were there well that's that's like a foot away yeah, yeah. but you were way ahead yeah but now you're just behind and is that why so if i was ahead is that why with the driver and stuff um it'd be very steep with the longer club very steep yeah. Yeah. correct yeah. correct All right. So the longer the cap, the more steep it would yeah, be. Yeah, because with the driver, it would get ugly. It would be Correct. steep and popped up sometimes. And, and Very high yeah. off the top half of the cap face. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And possibly more weak yeah. right than, yes. than left pulls. Yeah. But you could get both. Well, it would. It would be, be weak right, but without slicing, but just weak right push or Correct. low pulls. Like, Correct. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you're behind the ball. Yeah. Great. Now getting on his left side, so, isn't he? Correct. 
Yeah. Just give me a couple of, am I doing mirror work? Is that what you I should do? You can do mirror doing? work. Yeah. You can do a lot of mirror work yeah. and always get in the feeling. Yeah. Um, it's like I said, um, like I said to you last night, when we just when you hit those few balls, yeah. the feeling is always that you're wanting to load the right side and able to pick up the left foot. Okay, now no, you were never no, able no, to do no, that. That was never going to happen. <laughs> yeah, because you were totally reversed on it. Yeah. Then you did the opposite and went the other way. Yeah. So that was actually a good shot. Okay. okay. But you can do a lot of feeling if if this is your center point turn behind it make sure you can pick up because you're wanting to feel this right leg load yeah which you haven't had you've loaded the left cheek yeah. so to say yeah and when you're referring leg you're referring to right hip correct correct yeah, yeah. Correct. okay oh, yeah, that, right hip load so i feel like that left shoulder is going down towards the quad yeah, correct the quad. which is getting you just behind the ball which is the feeling you're getting you miles from it now mm -hmm. because you were way ahead of it yeah. way way ahead of it okay All right. okay good check the angles from the side to make sure that you're now still on play. Perfect. Very good, huh? There's some speed there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because remember, guy, your, 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 your club head speed yeah. is contributed by hip turn, left yeah. hip turn through the ball. And transfer of weight yeah. but now you never had that because you were on it so you blocked all your power because yeah. you were there so now you still had to do all this right. shift and hit okay. so you were taking away you take away all your power that right. way that's why you could get weak rights as well plus a pulled left but they will never go far yeah. it's not like a draw Correct. yeah so you won't get the carry yeah. That's because you were just taking your hips out of it because of the wrong movement okay. if you keep your hips going the right way then yeah, then you're going to be yeah, yeah, exactly. It's how that hip, you know, and if you look at it, I'll stand up, if you look at it, look at me this way, just to get out of your eye out of this, but if you look at me this way, the swing works, if that's how your hips are, and you set up nicely, but you don't do this. You've always said that. Yeah. yeah, and Charts actually very, that's what he works really hard yeah. at, is to get that. Yeah. So you didn't have this. Yeah. What you had was, you had that. Yeah. So you shifted away completely yeah. and disconnected completely. Which to catch up is always hard work. Yeah, we, we went about it from the top to bottom instead of now from the top, top to the bottom up. Up, yeah. it, correct. Well, most stuff, stuff happens from the ground up. Yeah, the sequence of the swing should start from the from the bottom up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm to get a slow mo on this. I mean, I can, I can even play like that if I'm honest. I mean, it feels weird, but yeah. I mean, but you'll. Feels. How long would you do that? For? How long would you suggest I do that for? Just put my toe, toe in like that. Um. It, just, it depends on how much practice you're going to be able to get in. Yeah. But you can play one or two rounds, yeah. like eight or three or four rounds, like eight, doesn't, until you're really comfortable. I wouldn't like to see it close completely because that's not ideal, because that also stops you a little bit from getting onto your left side on the through swing. Yeah. So we have to tweak it, yeah. but whatever we do, and you can tweak it now already, but just make sure the knee, mm -hmm. the left knee is moving inward and not outward. Yeah. So the left knee works towards your right knee and never towards the target. Okay. Does that make sense? That makes total sense, yeah. Okay. So you can already start opening the foot slightly. Um, I would never like it to get as wide as you had it. I mean, as open as you had it. But as you have it now, perfect. And feel knee. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So that would so, feel like a jump up. Yeah. That's your, that would be your, remember I said to you, your bad shot would be now, that yeah. if you are transferring backwards yeah. out of habit, you, yeah, you're going to hit it. I mean, I, it's sometimes awkward, guy, but you almost feel like you're going to go towards the target. Target, correct. And you're going to freaking hit down and it's going to go up. Yeah. yeah. You have to move through the ball now onto your left side. Yeah, that's it. Backswing's good. Okay. Just, you see, you can see it's just always back. So now you have to, if we've turned you correctly behind the ball, guy, you have to move back. Have to go back down You've down. got to go forward towards the target and make sure you finish up on your left side. That's the only reason you had hit it poorly now, is if you're not working through the ball. It's so thin, but yeah, but you can see straight away the movement was different. Yeah. Okay. So the, the heavy is always going back. Correct. Head is back, yeah. You see now he drops back too much out of habit. It's, um, I remember that. Yeah, 
There we go. Super. Spot on. Spot on. So that's my main... There. That's my deal. There we go. Perfect. And that you can do. Mirror work as you're doing that. Um, uh, yeah, okay. But you must remember, just your work mustn't only be one way. Yeah, yeah, right. Because your habit is this anyway to fix up the reverse. Yeah. So your work must be both ways. If you're not hitting balls and you're doing um, mirror work, make sure you're getting there. Yeah. And then make sure you're getting there. The okay. big load of the left side is very, very important for your fix. Yeah. Because if you fix the backswing and don't get the through swing, you're going to have a huge left pull. Okay. High left and not happy. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Pleasure. I think, uh, I think you've given me something fantastic to work okay. on. Okay. It's a pleasure, man. Yeah. yeah. Keep building. Sure. Right, two more. Oh, you get in there. You've got Do a you red to... flashing light here. No? Um, yeah, it's probably because the battery's about to go, but I'll replace it. Sure. Okay. okay. A couple more. Looks so much better. God, it's incredible. Going so far to what I've been doing. That's incredible. And then a little bit of your training, guy, because I think this you're going to get. Yeah. It's a feeling you've already got. And I mean, it's only th three it's balls last yeah, night yeah. and now what we've hit this morning. But you're feeling that a, a part of your training is really when you're finished, I want you to hold your swing and just do a bit of bouncing on the legs like so that you know your weight is shifted. Get a bit more okay. into the camera. Mm. Okay, yeah. So just as you finish, just yeah. feel the uh, feel a little bit of. Once you're done, I just want you to feel a little bit of this, so that you know this is able to happen. Okay. So I okay, because I think your your back swing you're going to get instantly, but the through swing is going to be work for you. Okay, get there, hold it, and yeah, just I, feel I, it a bit. It, yeah. It's interesting. I automatically yeah. wanted yeah. to yeah. go backwards. So if you're training yeah. and you're doing mirror work, do it properly. Make sure the finish is happening with the back, because there's no use just getting your back yeah. correctly now, and all of a sudden you just stay back, stay back. Okay. As I said, you'll get a very poor left, yeah. and you won't be happy with that because you'll be missing the greens by miles. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. Okay, happy. Yes, thank you. Cool. Awesome. Next.